Do you know that bacteria from just one contaminated surface can spread across 40 to 60% of your facility in as little as two to four hours? Imagine someone who isn't feeling well, enters your building and touches a doorknob. In just four hours, illness-causing germs can be found across 60% of your facility. How is this possible, you might be wondering? The answer is high touch surfaces. High touch surfaces like doorknobs easily facilitate the spread of germs because they are touched by a lot of people in a short span of time. These people will go on to touch other objects, spreading the germs on other surfaces. Many viruses like influenza only survive for several hours in the air, but can survive for up to two days on a surface. If there is a virus on a high touch surface, there's no telling how many people can become infected in that two day window. That's why it's so important to frequently clean and disinfect high touch surfaces. High touch surfaces are surfaces or objects that frequently get touched by people's hands throughout the day. For example, door handles, elevator buttons, uh, restroom fixtures, desks and countertops, printer and copier buttons, and light switches are all high touch surfaces. Knowing that these surfaces can easily spread germs, it's important to create a disinfecting routine that minimizes germ spread to prevent potential outbreaks. The best way to create a disinfecting routine is to identify and call out high touch surfaces in your building's standard operating procedures. This is so that they can be cleaned and disinfected more often than the less commonly used surfaces or objects. High touch surfaces should be cleaned and disinfected at least two to three times a day, if not more. I should reiterate that when I say surfaces should be cleaned and disinfected, I mean exactly that. You have to clean before you disinfect, otherwise you will not effectively remove illness causing germs. Cleaning a surface before disinfecting removes dirt, soil, and other residue that could otherwise make it hard for the disinfecting chemicals to reach and kill germs. Cleaning a surface before disinfecting removes dirt, soil, and any other residue that could otherwise make it hard for the disinfecting chemicals to reach and kill germs. In fact, cleaning with a basic detergent will remove up to 95% of the germs from a surface. However, that still leaves 3% um, disinfecting will remove any remaining germs, so you should always follow up cleaning with a disinfectant to reduce the overall risk of infection. The only time this isn't true is if you're using a one-step cleaner disinfectant product, as one-step cleaners are able to clean and disinfect in one go. Keep in mind that one-step cleaners and disinfectant should not be used on heavily soiled surfaces. It's also a good idea to make sure that the people in your building have access to disinfecting products. This might mean putting wipes near the entryways in elevators or conference rooms so that guests are empowered to clean before and after use of communal surfaces and objects. This not only promotes a cleaner environment, but helps your janitorial team ensure the most hygienic facility. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions about how to handle cleaning and disinfecting of high touch surfaces, consider reaching out to an Imperial Dade location near you. Our experts are highly experienced in janitorial and sanitation services, so call today for a free consultation of your cleaning and disinfectant protocols, and an Imperial Dade expert will work with you to update your current program. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.